Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how you can make a jump pad like this, where when you step on it, it'll boost you really high into the air. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is we're going we're gonna to want to create a part. So we drag a part from up here, and then we can keep it like this, and it'll make you jump into this ah sky when you click, when you step on it. But we want to make it look cool, so maybe we want to make it big. Uh, you can make this look however you want. Um, let's just change it to purple, because I like the color purple. We should probably change it to neon, because it makes it look even better. Actually, that makes it look blue, but it's fine. And then... That's really all we need to do to make it look cool. Uh, you can do whatever you want to it. And then what we're going to want to do is we want to create a script. So let's attach a script to it. And then we are going to use this code right here. And we're going to paste that into here. Um, and I'm going to give you a second. You can type all that out. And then I'll explain what each thing does. So what, what this does is it creates a variable called pad which is equal to the script.parent. So this script's parent is part, so pad is equal to the, this part right here. And then it creates a function called jump, and then that runs, and it, has, it passes this parameter known as hit. If you don't know what a parameter is, well, you, I have a video on parameters, which you can watch. Um, just go to my profile and you can go to it. Um, and then so what it does is if the hit which is the, whatever whatever part touches it, whatever thing is touching the jump, or whatever is touching the part, the pad, the jump pad, then that is going to be equal to hit. And then so if hit dot parent, so if like your leg touches it, like your avatar's leg touches it, it'll find its parent. And the leg is a child of the at, your actual character. And then it'll find the first child. So it'll find the first part in your character known as humanoid, and then what it does is it finds local humanoid equals hit dot parent find first child humanoid. So it's setting. Um, this is figuring out what this little bit of code is right here is figuring out if what hits the part is a like avatar or your character, and then it'll set the hit dot parent. It'll find it'll set the humanoid to the hit dot parent, and then it'll find the humanoid. And then what it does is it changes the properties around. I have a video on properties if you want to watch that. Um, it'll change the properties of the humanoid, so it'll change the jump power of it to 1000. It'll set the jump to true. By default, it is set to false, but when you press the space bar, it sets this to true. But you can also set it to true through scripts, so this is what we do here. You can make it, then it waits, although we should probably make that 0 0.1 just to make it not really wait at all, so it jumps right when you step on it. Um, you can change this to whatever you want, and then it changes the jump height to 500. That's probably a little much, so let's set that to 100. And so you can change all these properties. This is just how fast it goes up. This is, you need you need this to make a jump. This is how long it waits in, since you touched it to make you jump. And this is how far, or like how high you jump. And then this end closes the if statement, and then this end closes the entire function. And then when the variable known as script.parent, so when the part right here, we should probably name this jump pad just to make it make more sense. And when this is touched, so when the jump pad is touched, then it connects the function of jump. So when it's touched, it'll run the function of jump, which is all the code right here. So let's click play and we'll see if this works. And by the way, all the code, I'll just put that in the description. So. Let's come over to our jump pad, and then let's step on it. And it will make us jump really high in the air. And see, we can now bounce. And this is, this can be used in many places, such as a obby. And if you want me to make an obby game and show you how I did that with different like levels and stuff like that, then tell me in the comments, and I'll make that for you. And I'll teach you how to make it. And that's really all for this video. Subscribe and join the Discord. Link's in the description. Goodbye.